converged at the Nairobi National Museum this Saturday afternoon to celebrate art, culture, cuisine and fashion through the Nairobi International Cultural Festival. The event celebrating its seventh year saw a wide variety of people from different parts of the world gather to explore, display and learn about various traditions. Our Timothy Otieno was there and filed the following report. Chef Dixon Adero is from Nyanza, but he knows all about Japanese culture. He is a sushi chef, serving up the food to a host of curious onlookers, wetting their taste buds. So just to make this one roll, it takes like uh, two minutes, yeah, two to three, two to three minutes for a client like her. Dixon's stand is one of the busiest. Together with his assistant, he's helping serve up the delicious delicacy to a stream of clients. It's a unique culture. We have a history and a, a unique culture like kimono, dances, tea. Dixon is among hundreds of exhibitors who have descended upon the Nairobi National Museum's grounds for this year's Nairobi International Cultural Festival an event celebrating its seventh year and is aimed at promoting tradition and culture for over 2,000 various communities across the globe. I've already enjoyed this place because uh, we've been walking around with my friend here. Uh, I've enjoyed the, uh, personally the Chinese stand because uh, I usually find their culture quite fascinating. Uh, the experience is awesome because we get to see other cultures performing, Egyptians playing, so it's cool. I'm studying Chinese in uni, so it was really amazing to like get to interact with them and see what they eat, what they do, the Chinese characters, the culture and everything. It's Ni hao ma. Ni hao. <laughs> Thank you. Evita Manso is a Spaniard who has been living in Nairobi for five years now. She displays her cooking prowess at this year's event, hoping to promote the Spanish culture to those visiting her stall. La paella is a tradition, it's this dish. So it's actually, is the pan itself, but we call it also the dish. It's our traditional, it's like for you guys, ugali and sukuma. For us, it's, it's the paella, yeah? It's the traditional Spanish dish that we have in Spain. Has is an experience shared by many people from different nationalities, bringing a little bit of their home and culture to Nairobi. When I first came here, and then I introduced myself saying I'm from Botswana, so people would say, uh, are you from, uh, you mean in South Africa? So here, it's promote individual of the countries. So it brings that, uh, that individuality, where we can just express our culture, we express what we are about. Choripan is a typical dish uh, from Argentina, it's a typical embreaded sausage, and it's made basically of pork, it's a sausage made on pork. We have here um, chimichurri, chimichurri sauce, that is made on, uh, with persil, it has onion, uh, olive oil, and it's very, very, very typical from Argentina. For Dixon, the business of cultural promotion is quite profitable. On a bad day, we sell about 30,000. Yeah. On a bad day. Yeah. More than 500 people visit the Nairobi Cultural Festival each year, and event organizers are hoping their experiences will help enhance the global perspective of how it is to travel the world. It's a blend of cultural mosaic conglomerating here at the Nairobi International Cultural Festival, enabling participants to travel the globe on a fixed budget. Timothy Otieno,